Happy Mortgage Monday. We are here today with Drew Hendricks with Hendricks Home Loans and Prime Lending. And today we're gonna to be discussing appraisals. Talk to us about the world of appraisals. So working with you has added so much value to I feel like our business as wheelhouse, but also to our borrowers and our buyers. Um, you kind of help us go to bat and strategize with us about what offers look like. Can you talk to us a little bit about your competitive advantage and being the lender that you are? Sure, so that's gonna open up a plethora of, of questions and things that we can wrap a hole on and I'll try to keep it brief. The primary difference here is that selling loans for prime lending, I'm given um, or equipped with prime lending's in-house appraisal department instead of what 90% of lenders in America use is a third party appraisal management company or as often referred to an AMC. So I think explaining the difference in those might be the best place to start. Sure, no, that'd be great. Talk okay. to us about the AMC first, what you have. So with an appraisal management company, you have a lender, a third party company, and then the appraiser, the person who actually goes to visit the home and does the evaluation for the value of the home. So, lender gets a home under contract, he orders the he or she orders the appraisal with third party AMC company. AMC company then broadcast the order out to anyone, any appraiser, doesn't how, matter how long they've been appraising homes, where they live, as long as they're subscribing or buying leads from this AMC, then they can grab it and say, yes, I want it. Mm -hmm. So the AMC gets the order, the lender says, we will pay you $500 for this appraisal. The AMC takes 250 and then they offer 250 to any appraiser that wants to grab it. So those appraisers are making 250 bucks a pop and they might be traveling two hours, 60 miles, 45 miles. They might come from College Park or Griffin up to Alpharetta, Canton, Cumming, Woodstock to appraise a home that they're not familiar with the market. They're not familiar with the neighborhoods. They're not familiar with the schools. So they're in a hurry because they're only getting 250 bucks and they got a long ways to go. Mm -hmm. So they're operating on quantity, not quality. Also, they don't have any accountability to turn the appraisal in on the requested due date. Wow. Ding, ding, ding. So that's why the due dates don't really matter. Your appraisal ex is expected in in eight days. Well, you don't get it on the eighth day. You don't get it on the ninth day. And maybe you get it 10 days later, but the finance and the, I'm sorry, the appraisal contingency is very important because that gives you time to make sure you're purchasing a home that is worth what you're purchasing it for. Okay. So that's one side of the appraisal world. My side is very unique with prime lending is that we don't use a third party middleman appraisal management company. We have our own appraisal department within prime lending. So when I want an appraisal order, I get buyers under contract with you guys. I send it directly to my prime lending employee appraisal, de appraisal desk and they send out the request we're charging $500 for the, or we're offering to pay you appraiser $500 for the appraisal. And this is the expected due date. And it goes to a very specified, unique list of our preferred appraisers who have been appraising homes for a minimum of eight years and live within 30 miles of the property that they're going to evaluate. So they're familiar with the markets and we give them every penny of that $500. No one is taking half. And if they don't hit our appraisal due dates, then they get kicked off of our list and they don't get our business anymore. So there is, they're operating on quality work and timely work with accountability and they hit our dates. Yeah. So when it comes to being efficient and hitting those appraisal dates, we can offer to get an appraisal back on a rush, right? With our preferred appraisers. A rush might be three days or four days from binding contract. When we get that rush order sent out, we are offering to pay 
$800 to get it back that quickly. So the appraiser sees it and they say, yeah, I want to make 800 bucks doing yeah. the same amount of work in the same amount of time within 30 miles of my house. And so they're incentivized to go do a great job. Yes, a great report. They're getting every penny of that money and they're getting it back to us on time because they want to continue getting those orders from myself and other lenders at Prime Money. And that makes a huge difference. Like we recently had one that just gave us so much heartburn where we were representing the listing agent or we were the listing agents on it. Um, and the buyers were working with the lender that was dealing with the AMC and not dealing with local appraisers. And we had to extend the appraisal contingency on behalf of the buyer. And it was just such a mess. And it caused heartburn for our clients. It caused heartburn for us. And I mean, you almost had to sweep in and save the day on that one, sure. um, which a rescue option is available. But you know, don't get to that point if you're um, a buyer shopping lenders. Just make sure you know what you're dealing with. Um, you know, we've been able to really win a lot of deals sure. um, based on the tight contingencies that you can offer for our right. clients. We can strategize behind what that looks like um, and we'll continue that on our next video for Mortgage Monday. Real quick, a couple of yeah. questions to ask yep. when you're interviewing lenders is how fast can you get an appraisal back? And do you have an in-house appraisal department yeah. or do you use a third party appraisal management company? Those are very important questions to ask when it comes to purchasing a home because the lender and the real estate agent that you work with need to have a great partnership because the partnership that you work with is going to determine how many homes you have to go see and how many offers you have to write before you get an offer accepted. So that's an advantage that I have with you guys and you have with me working together when we're structuring offers to really help our clients when they find that home that they're desperate to, to purchase, we can put together the strongest offer by presenting the smallest contingencies and communicating how beneficial an in-house appraisal department is to the listing agent oh, yeah. who's helping the sellers decide which contract to pick. Yeah. So that's a just a tidbit when it comes to appraisals, lending, realtors, make sure you're using a team that is knowledgeable, reputable, and if they can, if they have an in-house appraisal department, do it. Yeah.